If you haven't already, make a trip down to the Monroe County Sheriff's Animal Farm. Now it is open the second and fourth Sunday of every month. I'll actually be introducing you to one of the animals that you can find out there on the farm on today's show. Before that, though, I'm going to talk with our Monroe County Sheriff, Rick Ramsey. Sheriff Ramsey, thank you for being back on today. Jenna, I appreciate it. I love coming on your show. Well, it's wonderful having you here, Sheriff Ramsey. And I know you are so busy right now. You guys are involved in so many different projects and so many different cleanup events. Could you elaborate on some of those for us? Well, I said all through the campaign how important the uh, community policing, uh, community partnerships, uh, commitment to the community was. You know, we're focused on quality of life issues. And right now we are focusing on what's called the broken windows theory, which is part of community policing, which says if you see a broken window, if you don't fix it in a short time, all the other windows in that neighborhood will start getting broken. So if you see a problem, whether it be graffiti, uh, broken windows, if you fix it now, you'll solve the problem relatively, versus you don't, then you'll see graffiti stemming up everywhere, broken windows. We're uh, focusing very heavily with our quality of life issues, trying to see what the citizens need, what issues they have, we're working on a lot of cleanup projects. We've been doing stuff in Key Largo, a Marathon, uh, Lower Keys, Key West, um, and just really focusing on trying to attack areas which are troublesome areas, which through a period of time have been used for dump grounds, trash, um, curb drinking, drug sales, other issues, where we've seen some good neighborhoods have dropped down as a result of um, not dealing with the problem for a period of time or letting it get almost out of control. And with this, what happens is you see a reduction in property values. You see the people who live there have enough and move out and you see a different element of people move in. And that lower element of criminal activity or, or whatnot tend to take over that, that neighborhood or community where you're pushing the good people out. And with that comes crime. So we've focused a lot of stuff on um, say Marathon 15th Street. This is a neighborhood which has kind of gone down and there's a couple businesses back there. We have Castaways Restaurant, uh, Burdine's Restaurant, the Spotswoods are redeveloping a marina out there, which is a multi-million dollar, really an impressive marina. Well, if it's all run down, there's trash, garbage, no lighting, people are curb drinking, selling dope, uh, hanging out, milling around. Who wants to drive past that? Yeah. You're probably not going to go to that nice restaurant because you're afraid to drive down there. Mm -hmm. You're going to bring your kids and family? Probably not. You know, people riding the bikes drunk and no headlights at nighttime, you're afraid to hit somebody. So we've uh, gone in that area with a team and uh, worked really hard and we're trying to create partnerships so it's not just the sheriff's office picking up trash. Our goal was to get in with chamber and rotaries in the cities and the counties, uh, fire departments, uh, the citizens especially and do it as a group a team, power and numbers. And we went in and we uh, took out six, not pickup trucks, big landscape trucks full of uh, trash debris garbage from this neighborhood. We're following up with um, lighting, trying to get better lighting in there, trying to do directive uh, patrols in there focused on certain day time, focused on targeted people who are uh, causing us problems. We've got our narcotics guys working in there. Uh, we were this last week in Key Largo, uh, same thing, a real nice neighborhood on the water, about the 106 mile marker has just kind of gone down. We brought the same thing, a team in there. We brought in inmates, uh, Key Largo Fire Rescue, some civilians, Sheriff's Office at all levels, from uh, civilians to detention to patrol, administrative personnel, and we just attacked this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And we took out so much garbage, trash, tires. It was amazing what we take out of there. Mm -hmm. You know, Marathon, same thing. We had a rollback dumpster actually put there on the site where we were working because it was so big and such a big project. And we overfilled it with an hour and 45 minutes with just garbage and trash, no landscape material, just tires and, and nastiness. Mm -hmm. All these tires hold water, which hold mosquitoes. Right. Dengue fever. And all these uh, piles of trash in the woods just hold rats and mice, mm -hmm. rodents, um, roaches, disease. So it's really important that we take care of our environment. Mm -hmm. We make it look clean for people who live here, for the kids here, that we have a nice clean neighborhood. For the people that want to visit, come here. We hope when they see a nice clean area, they come back to other people and say, it was real pretty down there, it's real nice, it's clean. They want mm -hmm. to come back, other people want to come. We've got a project coming up on uh, May 18th in Alamrata. Mm -hmm. And we're working around the 78 to the 80 mile marker, and we're gonna be doing work on land in the mango uh, line on the water and also in the water with divers trying to focus on some trash, debris, nets, ropes that are in the water and on land as well. So we're really trying to focus it land, environment, water, environment, community, uh, people's neighborhoods 
and we're looking for people to help us identify areas they want to work on. Mm -hmm. You just probably read in the paper the work we did at the Boca Chica Bridge here, so all mm -hmm. the pictures, hopefully the before and after. And you know, that's right here, that's part of the Heritage Trail. We want right. people to ride their bikes under this bridge as part of the trail. Well, they did a nice work on the trail, they put nice fencing up by the water, all that looked good, but they forgot about the fact that people were living under the bridge. Mm -hmm. And under there was trash, debris, clothing hanging, garbage, smell, and you know, um, it was just an unsafe place for people to want to ride, let alone say a, a single female. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's scary to be riding under there. You think you're a nice, safe heritage trail, but you've got some scary people living under a bridge, and it's a prime place for someone to be attacked and potentially raped. Mm -hmm. So we um, brought to our attention. We immediately went out there and attacked that problem, and you saw some of the pictures before and after. Mm -hmm. So our focus is just that, uh, make things safer, make mm -hmm. things look nicer, cleaner, reduce crime, uh, be there for our citizens, try to um, partner up with them, and um, help them take back their neighborhoods. Well, you're doing an awesome job at all We're of trying. this, Sheriff We're Ramsey. You really are. Now, you just took office in November, and look at everything that you've accomplished so far. Are you happy with everything overall? Well, overall, I'm happy <laughs> for now. The only problem, I guess, is if I do everything now, <laughs> down the road, won't be nothing to do. But that's okay. Our goal is to, we're hitting it hard. I put a lot of pressure on my command staff and my officers that this is where I want to be. This is my focus, is committed to our community, committed to the Keys, and making a difference, being part of change part of the solution, not part of the problem, and being a leader. The Sheriff's Office has to be the leader in this agency to combat problems and make people's um, lives a little bit better. So I'm focused on that and um, getting a lot of great feedback from the troops who are really buying into it and really enjoying it because they can see instant gratification. Hour and a half, we can do amazing things in one area. They're like, wow, we just did that. Mm -hmm. So it's been good. It's been a good feeling then afterwards. Absolutely, yes. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for being back on. I'll have you again very soon to give okay. us some more updates on your Always project. Always my pleasure. Thank All you, right. Ms. Jenna. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages with the Monroe County Sheriff's Animal Farm. Stay with me.